the forehead of your robot. Before I begin the story, allow me to say something. This is 100% false, this never happened. This is just an extremely exaggerated, heavily altered version of an experience I had with a failed hacker group. They aren't coming back. Now, let's begin the story. It was a day like many others for me. Browsing through various games, trying to find that one perfect game. But I was rather unsuccessful. Until I found an interesting array of games. These were rather old 2007 to 2010 games. I saw what could be built when Roblox was new. Some of it was pretty impressive, but others, not so much. I'd play them for a little bit, then switch to another. There were plenty of the places that were available to me. Never had to stop and think that I was going to run out, as there were at least 30 of these places. Most of them had nobody playing it. The ones that did usually only had one or two other people playing it, experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing. Went to bed knowing that this was certainly an average day. I've had many days like it. When I woke up, I realized that I didn't have to go anywhere, or do anything. It was winter vacation, so I could just go back to sleep. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to start playing on my PC. I skipped breakfast, then proceeded to start playing Roblox. I went on the front page, then scrolled down to recommended, trying to find something interesting. The usual kind of games were in my recommended. Games that I never played anything of the sort before. Even a couple games I downvoted were being recommended to me. Typical, recommend me games that are popular, not games that I would show interest in. I decided to go back to playing those old games, enjoy the old times a little more. I went to Roblox HQ, and noticed a rather large amount of people there. Something had to be happening over there. When I joined it, it was just normal. But something was strange. I joined and there were only two people, not to be seen anywhere. When I looked in the servers, I saw that there was only one server. Refreshed, still one. It had about 10 people, but only 3, including me, were shown. The rest were just blank. Something on was happening. It couldn't just be some script heavy exploiters. While looking around, I managed to find one person. He was trapped in a red, slightly transparent box. He begged for me to help him get out, but I didn't know how to. I knew it was anchored, so no use in trying to blow it up. I tried using my sword to kill him so he would respawn, but that didn't work. Try resetting, I told him. He proceeded to stand still for a second. That didn't work, he exclaimed. He was helpless. I walked away, trying to find the other one. I found her, but not in a way anyone would want to find someone. She was strung up on what appeared to be a large Z, and was bloodied up. Red globes were falling from her body, and she was powdered in red. I guess she tried to talk, but everything she said was just a bunch of random numbers. 15,329,860, she says. Heh, I replied to the strange greeting. 53,820,524, she replies. I gave up, she had some weird muting. As I walked away, she screamed. But you can't do that in Roblox, there's no voice chat. I heard awfully realistic screaming as I walked away, trying to find the perpetrator. I didn't find anyone, it was just me and those captured two in the entire game, despite it saying there was ten. I decided to use my freedom to look in some hidden places and find them. I found seven people under the map. There they were, on some red box that had a decal on it. All I could see of it were a couple red lines. It was inaccessible to me, as I can't fly. So I tried one thing that could possibly work. I shot a rocket at them, possibly to kill then respawn them. They were gutted, but their block was still flung away, making them fall into the void. They were respawned, at the top. Time to get some answers. I went to them and asked who they were. No answer. I asked why they were doing this. No answer. Alright, I was clearly not going to get this by asking nicely. I told them to tell me who they were before I reported them to the admins, hoping they didn't know I could find their accounts. A weak threat, but it's not like there was much else I could do. 
All they said was, ZGL underscore. They all left, along with the two that were captured. Odd, I figured they would be left to die. I looked up ZGL underscore, and found them. There were hundreds of them. A lot of them were online, in different games. Probably terrorizing innocent people. I joined them, and most of them were in the classic games. An experience ruined for many. As ZGL goes around and ruining a possibly memory for many, nobody tries to stop them. They're an unstoppable force, going around and striking many with fear. As you know, that story is fake. But the truth is beyond here. I shall explain to you the real ZGL. They started out going to various non-filtering enabled games. They didn't hack, they exploited. Only one of them knew how to exploit, ZGL underscore 4. But eventually, ZGL4 was banned, leading to the demise of ZGL. There was nothing they could do to try to ruin games. ZGL was active from late 2016 to early 2017, but halted all activity in the April of 2017. ZGL were extremely arrogant and ignorant. They thought they could hack people's accounts, and make Roblox fall. But the worst they could do was replace the skybox with an edgy decal, and play music from the develop page. They had a few members, but a lot of them went inactive because of how underwhelming ZGL was. You can still find ZGL today, as their accounts still exist. ZGL4 was not deleted, just banned. But that was still enough for ZGL to fall under. ZGL was a failed hacker group, and that's all they will ever be.